Thread separation nail U of the moving knife separates the thread, and moving knife B and the counter knife trim the threads. The machine operates in this way. Number 9. Principle of Sewing. The needle comes down and looper A tucks needle thread B. To secure the thread triangle, yoke slide C securely holds D. The looper point passes through the thread triangle tucked by the looper. The yoke slides go back immediately after the looper passes through the thread triangle. These steps are repeated to form stitches. When remaining at the sewing end should be approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. If the thread is too long, as shown in A, the length of thread remaining in the needle becomes shorter. In this case, stitch skipping will occur at the start of sewing the next button. Thread O is the thread at the start of sewing. Thread P is the thread at the end of sewing. Number 11, adjusting the needle bar A. Turn the pulley to bring the needle bar to the lowest point of its stroke. Loosen the needle bar connection screw. When using TQ by one needle, align the upper marker line of marker lines S on the needle bar with end face C of the needle bar lower bushing. When using a TQ by seven needle, line B on the needle bar with it. Holding the needle bar so that its inclined plane faces towards you, tighten the needle bar connection screw. Now, attach the needle. Number 12, adjusting the needle and the looper E. Loosen screw F in the looper, screw G in the yoke slide triangular cam, and screw H in the looper mounting shaft. Adjust the clearance between end face I of the looper and end face J of the looper support link to approximately one millimeter. Now temporarily tighten the screw. Adjust the clearance between cam K and shaft L to O and tighten the screw in the yoke slide cam while aligning marker N on yoke slide triangular cam with looper mounting shaft. Turn the pulley until the lower marker line on the needle bar is aligned with the bottom end face of the needle bar lower bushing. At this time, align yoke slide triangular cam O with the center of yoke slide positioning finger Q. Now, adjust so that the blade point of the hook meets the center of the needle marked by the arrow by moving looper mounting shaft R. At this time, a clearance of 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters should be provided between the looper and the needle. To adjust the clearance between the looper and the needle, loosen the screw in the looper and move the looper back or forward properly. Number 13, adjusting needle guide A. Loosen the screw in the needle guide and move the needle guide back or forward to adjust so that a clearance of 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters is obtained between the needle and the needle guide when the needle bar is in the lowest position of its stroke. Number 14, adjusting yoke slide B. Q 
Cam O makes the yoke slide move to the right and left in the direction of the arrow, and slide the yoke Cam D moves it back and forth. The yoke slide makes a triangular motion by operating Cam O in combination with Cam D. Adjust so that an approximately 0.5 to 1 millimeter clearance is provided between the yoke slide and the needle when the needle is in the lowest position of its stroke. Loosen the screw in the yoke slide cam and the screw in the yoke slide triangular cam. Align marker line E on the yoke slide triangular cam with marker line F on the looper mounting shaft and tighten the screw. Adjust the longitudinal position of the yoke slide by moving the yoke slide cam back or forward so that a clearance of 0.5 to 1 millimeter is provided between the needle and the yoke slide while aligning marker line F on the looper mounting shaft with the marker line J on the yoke slide cam. Then tighten the screw in the yoke slide cam. The sewing machine moves backward when the sewing machine sews the 8th or 9th stitch. At this time, the looper point should pass the center of thread triangle G. In addition, adjust the triangular cam and the yoke slide cam so that the yoke slide moves backward immediately after the looper point has passed the thread triangle. When sewing a four-hole button, the mutton moves in the direction of the arrow at the 9th stitch. As a result, the thread triangle shifts from its correct position. In this state, the looper point cannot pass the center of the thread triangle smoothly. At this time, adjust the longitudinal position of the yoke slide using the yoke slide cam to allow the looper point to pass through the thread triangle. If the looper point fails to pass the center of the thread triangle, as shown in K, stitch skipping may result. If the looper fails to pass through the thread triangle, stitch skipping and thread breakage may result. If the looper point fails to pass the center of the thread triangle at the ninth or 10th stitch, make a proper adjustment by moving the yoke slide longitudinal cam back or forward. Number 15, adjusting nipper A. The nipper works to hold the needle thread when the sewing machine enters its stop motion state to obtain a well tenth stitch at the sewing end. Adjust so that a clearance of 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters is provided between nipper